Being an entrepreneur is one of the hardest things you can do. It's deliberately going against the grain and finding your own way. It's purposely doing things differently and shirking convention. It's intentionally facing your ego and the opinions of everyone watching. It's being able and willing to look stupid and like a failure because what most people don't understand is that what they think makes you stupid and a failure is actually what makes you smarter and stronger than most and what will ultimately pave the road to your success. Yes, being an entrepreneur is hard, but that's kind of the point. You have to fail before you can succeed, even though as a society we don't like failure so much. It's uncomfortable to us. We feel like it says something about us, especially if other people know about it. But you can just as easily choose to see failure as getting one step closer to success, instead of purely as a failure. As cliche as it sounds, success is a lot like that one quote by Thomas Edison that we all heard when we were kids. I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. It's only cliche because it's so true, but as kids we probably weren't ready to grasp its value or appreciate the full depth of its significance. That failure is part and parcel of success. If even Thomas Edison and people like Theodore Roosevelt, Amelia Earhart, Margaret Thatcher, Barack Obama, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, Oprah Winfrey, literally any successful person you can think of had to face failure before they got to where they are now, what makes you think you shouldn't have to too? Why is feeling like there's something wrong with us if we make a mistake the default when failure simply serves as a sign that we should adapt and try again? Don't let yourself fall into this trap. Despite what most people say, failing actually means that you're on the right track because it means that you're trying new things and you're not letting your fear of failure, judgment, or the unknown get in the way. As one of the women entrepreneurs I follow says, you can't expect to live an extraordinary life if you keep on doing and thinking ordinary things. To achieve new heights, you have to make your own path. And this means that things won't be clear for a while, if ever. This is what it means to be a pathfinder, always being on the edge of innovation and constantly looking towards the horizon. If it's never been done before, then by definition, there are no rules or models to follow. You have to figure it out as you go, which means that you'll fail along the way, a lot. But that's okay, because usually the only way to find what works is to find what doesn't work first. I know, that's a hard pill to swallow, especially if you're living it time and again, but it's not something that anyone can change, and in fact, you can even think of it mathematically. If there's only 10 ways that work, but a million that don't, then that means that you only have a 0.000999% chance of getting it right the first time. The silver lining is that you increase your chances of success with each successive attempt, because there's one less approach to try. This sort of thing is trial and error by nature. The only way to succeed is to keep on going until you stack the odds so much in your favor that you can't not succeed. Another way you can think of it is to compare it to putting bumpers up on a bowling lane. Bumping up against them simply redirects you back onto the right path. And just because a ball hit a bumper on its way down the lane doesn't mean it can't still result in a strike. That's the way life, entrepreneurship, and growth are too. They're bowling with the bumpers on which isn't embarrassing, it's a good thing because it means that we can learn from our mistakes and try again. Despite what most people think, life does give you second chances and third chances and fourth chances and so on. The only thing that limits the amount of chances you get is your willingness to get back up, brush yourself off and try again. If you like this video, then you might also like the video that I'll link in the end card. It also explores the sacrifices that you have to make on the path towards growth. Before you go though, leave a comment down below letting me know what you do to keep on going when things get hard. I would love for this to be a space where we can all share with each other, so I really look forward to reading what you have to say. As for right now though, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.